Hello. Good morning, Good morning everybody. everybody. Welcome. Clock on a Tuesday morning. Yes. I feel like what Monique does. Today is March 24th, 2020. <laughs> I can write it down. <laughs> if anybody is listening. <laughs> <laughs> yes, congratulations if you're joining us at nine o'clock this morning. Um, that's very impressive. I can see we have one viewer. Please yes, introduce good yourself. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> what is your name and your favorite type of car? And why is it your favorite type mm. of car? Joanna, do you want to start? Uh, yeah, why not? I, I've had a good cup of tea, so I feel energized um i am joanna i come hello chintzia she's so chintzia so welcome good morning, good morning. Hi. um i'm joanna i come from cape town south africa uh currently i live in the outskirts of bologna in the countryside uh, i am a teacher bologna mille and um, i've been in bologna for two years now mm. yeah and um, my favorite type of car is a 1966 Ford Mustang. Why? Ford Mustang, wow. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful. It's elegant. There, It's very, very expensive. So I will never live to see the day where I own one. <laughs> someone randomly who's rich wants to gift it to me. Mm -hmm. um, and because there are not many made in the world, it's a very valuable car. And when you have it, you better keep it for the rest of your life. Wow. So it's like a collector's item almost. It's, that is exactly what it is. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Wow. Um, yes. A black, yet. With black rims. Perfect. Very specific. <laughs> um, Chintia, if you're with us or anybody else, please introduce yourself and tell us your favorite type of car. Mm. Um, Interesting question you? this morning. Um, my name is Emily. I also live in Bologna, like Joanna, and I teach English at Bologna Mille, and we know Cinzia very well. <laughs> um, my favorite type of car, I'm not really someone who is interested in cars, but thinking about it, I think maybe my favorite um, type is the Fiat Cinquecento. <gasps> yes. um, the, the classic one, not the modern one. Um, yeah, the classic one. Yeah, I think it's really cute. It's really sweet. Um, when I got married, we had a Fiat Cinquecento, um, a yellow, a bright yellow Fiat Cinquecento as a wedding car. Um, Where did you find it? Um, there is um, a website. I'll tell you later. I don't want to do some publicity. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's a guy in Bologna who, who rents out his Cinquecento for, for weddings, for, for events. And it was really cute. Yeah, I um, think for one of your pictures, I think you're standing mm, on a hill. Mm, yes, maybe near San Luca, I think. Exactly. Also, um, you know, I haven't seen any of your wedding photos. <laughs> I'll send a send a video. We have a video. <laughs> okay, send the video, please. Yeah, I'll send I it to the, that number. <laughs> to the um, group. <laughs> I remember that picture. I think, I, um, mm. I don't know, but the lighting, like the sunset, if I can remember. Mm, yeah, it was <laughs> around the sunset. Um, it was very beautiful. Mm. Uh, I agree with you. Cinquecento, beautiful car. Yeah, it's very cute. I would like a Cinquecento in the future. We'll see. Well, I... while I'm here in Italy, I would definitely like one. Mm. I like South Africa because there's a lot more space. Um, mm. I like a really, really big car. So like a maybe... Yeah. A, I don't know. What do you call it in, in England? So Americans call it a pickup truck. What would you call it? Ah, pickup truck. Yeah. Um, oh. We would say pickup truck, but we, we don't really have many yeah, in the UK. Africa, we think of it as an, an American. Yeah, yes. Thing. In South Africa, because we have a lot of farmers and a lot of land between cities and towns um, and bigger roads, we have those. So in South Africa, mm. we call it a bucky. A bucky? Yeah. Ah, interesting. Yes, yeah, so I would like a bucky when I'm in South Africa, a big one. Mm. Yeah, I guess it depends where you live as to the type of car as well. Yeah, cool. um, okay. Hi, Chintia. Um, I live in the countryside. <laughs> okay. Good. I like an economy car. Um, and she Chintia says, oh, because they are small and easy to drive. <laughs> mm. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, I'm not very good on technology too. <laughs> um. 
But would it be an economy car? Hmm, I don't know. I would say maybe a city car or like a a runaround car, as in something that's easy to to drive. I don't know if I would say an economy car. Um, or maybe a, maybe you're referring to an eco-friendly car. Hmm. Um, they have eco-friendly cars as well, the smaller ones. Hmm. Uh, that yeah, like maybe two, three, two or four um, seaters. Good morning, Antonio. Antonio, this is like the second or third time I've seen him. Morning. Um, Welcome, Antonio. Well done for joining us at nine o'clock. <laughs> I've just awoken. It's like, <laughs> that sounds very strange. Do you sounds say that? In poetic. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've just woken up, I think. Um, Alessia, too. Welcome, Alessia. Um, Antonio and Alessia, can you tell us your favorite type of car? Mm. Okay, Alessia. And why is it your favorite type of car? Okay. I'm, I don't keep up with cars, but I like fast cars. Mm. Yeah. Can you give us an example of a really fast car that you do like? Mm. Maybe sports cars. Mm. Um, good. Um, just be careful with keep up. Keep up is a verb, so I don't keep up. And here we have another person, back to the social. His name is Leonardo from Giulianova. Good wow. morning, Leonardo. Good morning, Leonardo. We have lots of people this morning. Yeah. I'm happy. Um, <laughs> if you're watching or if you're going to tune in a little bit, uh, please comment your name, perhaps where you're from, and your favorite type of car. Please tell mm. us. We would really like to know. Yeah, so we had a couple of answers already. Chinsia said an economy car, so maybe something eco-friendly or a city car. Um, what about you, Antonio? What is your favorite car? Mm, favorite brand, favorite type of car. Alessia likes fast cars or sports cars. Mm. Um, Joanna, do you want to repeat yours for the people that are joining us? I guess um, it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I can add something to it. If I if I like a brand of cars, for example, if I live in Bologna and um, and to get around from the, I would really really like a BMW. Mm. Um, I am very very big fan of BMW. Um, maybe because I'm half German, <laughs> it could be that patriotic. I'm not really patriotic when it comes to patriotic when it comes to anything German, but. W, yes, I am patriotic. <laughs> yeah, it's a good brand. <laughs> it, it really is. Um, and my favorite car is a 1966 Ford Mustang. Mm. Emily also likes a brand of cars. Which one do you like? Yeah, I really like the Fiat Cinquecento. Um, so as I was saying, I got married and the Fiat Cinquecento was my wedding car. It was very cute. Um, the classic, the classic one, not the modern one. Um, and very sweet looking car. Yeah. Okay. Seems yeah. like it's very comfortable inside. Yeah, it's comfortable. A little bit small. <laughs> um, That's yeah. okay. I'm small. Yeah. <laughs> it's good for small people. <laughs> um, okay, Leonardo, I really like the new Tesla, Totally Electric. I don't remember the name, but it's really big and eco-friendly. Oh, wow. Nice. Good sentence, too. It is um, a perfect sentence. Only this problem with Tesla is that Elon Musk, which is a South African, by the way, <laughs> makes them too expensive. Like if you yeah. have, a, you have, we know you have a lot of money. <laughs> yes, it's a very expensive type of car, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so just be careful, Leonardo. We say, oh, where was Leonardo? Um, it is, it is really big. Mm -hmm. Just remember to remember repeat the subject. The subject. Antonio, in general, my favorite type of car are the SUV, SUV. A big car, but here in Italy, you can't even have an SUV. Mm. What is SUV short for? Oh, I don't know. Let's see if I can find out. SUV. What does it mean? Sport utility vehicle. Oh, wow. Um, sport utility vehicle. So it's useful and it's sporty. <laughs> So Alessia also says, uh, for example, I like Porsche. 
I went mm -hmm. to, remember when we talk about movement, any go to, when to, always mm -hmm. the preposition to. I went to the Porsche Museum for months ago and it was an amazing experience. Wow. Oh, are you? So the Porsche, um, the Porsche Museum is in Stuttgart in the south of Germany. Mm. Wow, so she went to Germany, nice. It's very, very cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, very elegant car, I think, the Porsche. Yes. Um, okay, Filippo has... Porsche. Sorry. <laughs> Every person who lives, majority of the people who live in Stuttgart either work for Mercedes-Benz or they work for Porsche because it's wow. the two biggest car manufacturing companies in, in the south of Germany. Ah. So everywhere someone has a Porsche, even in the small farming communities. And you're like, why do you have a Porsche? Yeah, for us it's strange. Um, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so if you see them, you know they either work for Porsche or or they either work for Mercedes Benz. Yes, it's their job. <laughs> um, Filippo, hi everyone. I'm Filippo from Rimini. Recently, I bought my first hybrid, Toyota CHR. Now, yeah, it's stopped in my garage. Yeah. You can maybe say it's stuck. Or parked. Hmm, yeah, or parked is maybe the more um, uh, correct word with um, yeah. vehicles. So parked in the car, in your garage, um, it's not moving. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. <I'm sorry. laughs> in this moment. Um, Leonardo, I don't have much money. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was just making a joke. I was just saying Tesla is just really, really expensive, but it's a beautiful mm -hmm. car. Yeah. I think um, once I had a taxi, I called a taxi, and the taxi was a Tesla. I was oh, wow. very surprised. <laughs> um, That's really cool. Yeah. I hope that happens to me too. Yeah, it was very, a beautiful car. <laughs> um, Antonio makes a good point. Electric cars are fashionable but useless. Okay, yeah, so it's oh, we have a little bit of a discussion going on, a little bit of a debate. Mm. Leonardo says, I don't agree with you, Antonio. Why do you think that electric cars are not useful? Wow. Oh, mm. Antonio goes on to say electric cars. Remember, we're talking about plural. Mm -hmm. um, electric cars are useful in America with larger streets. We're using the comparison, uh, personal parking, and so on. I don't think it is a good idea buying an electric car mm. for driving from. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe depends on the location also. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not completely useless. It's just maybe useless for places where you don't get to maybe exploit mm. uh, its potential. Yeah, really good uh, word to exploit its potential. Yeah, so to use it till its full capabilities. I feel like I'm mm. still not explaining myself. To use it all the time for a good reason. Yeah. Sorry, I made a mistake to exploit. It's no apostrophe. <laughs> exploit its potential. Yeah, so when you have a car, you want to exploit its potential. You want mm -hmm. to use it in the best way possible. Um. Okay, should we have a look at today's focus? I think um, we should. I think these guys are interested in cars, which is a good sign. <laughs> okay, so we have car talk. Um, Joanna, do you want to read for us? Certainly. So in this focus activity, parts of a car, automotive um, problems, buying a used car, and phrasal verbs. Excellent. Okay, and here we have some questions. So now we're not talking about your favorite car. We're talking about your real car. <laughs> okay, so question number one, do you have a car? What kind? Do you ever get car sick? And do you take your car to the mechanic for maintenance or do you prefer to do it yourself? Good okay. question. If you want to tell us in the chat box. In the meantime, we'll have a look at Alessi. Um, the guide told us even about the discount for the employers and the guarantees that they have. I thought about working there. <laughs> Told you it's, uh, it's very common in Germany for them to get mm. the discount on any of the, the cars that we generally like. Um, mm. Porsche Mercedes-Benz or Daimler, the company that is Mercedes-Benz, really, mm. really good companies to work for. If you're an Excellent. engineer. 
yeah, if anyone's thinking of a changing career, <laughs> um, yeah, I find these big car manufacturers. I guess also in Italy, Fiat, um, Ferrari, maybe they are good um, employees, good companies, because they're so big. Um, yeah, I, hopefully I, they I imagine. Hmm, hopefully they take care of their employees. <laughs> I hope so too. I don't know much about them. I just hmm. know that Fiat is not owned by Fiat. Fiat is now owned ah. by an American company. Fiat, mm -hmm. uh, like the, the Chrysler Automotive, something like that. Ah, okay. It was bought out by, mm. bought out by a different company. Mm -hmm. Whereas Porsche and Daimler, unfortunately, mm. are still very much German. Yeah. Another car I really like is the Mini. Um, that's British. They, yeah, it's British. But talking about being bought out by, I think it's now owned by BMW. I think the it was bought by mm -mm. the Mini BMW. was bought by Mercedes Benz. Ah, okay. Yeah, which is cool. Mm. I like the Mini. I think yeah. it's really so elegant. Mm. Um, every time. A woman step out of a mini. I'm just like, wow. Yeah, I would like a mini, a Fiat Cinquecento or a mini, <laughs> something small. It's perfect. It's practical. <laughs> yeah, I think they're very elegant to you, both both of them. Um, so Emily, hmm. you have a car. Um, here in Bologna, I don't. In the UK, I had a car. Um, it a was a Ford. I can't remember the type of Ford, but. Um, yeah, a small, a little Ford, silver Ford. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, what about you? No. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> never. Oh, no. I have, the, I have public transport. I have a Fiat hmm. bike. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> for now, for now, not forever. Mm. Yeah, hopefully in the future. Um, um, Joanna, do you ever get car sick? Do you ever feel sick when you're in the car? Um, it's a very difficult question. If I drive as a passenger in the front of the car, no. Mm. If I drive as a passenger in the back of the car, yes. Ah. Um, and I can be just sitting there, not reading, not listening to music. Um, mm. And definitely I get car sick in a bus. Really? All the time. Yeah, mm. the bus is the worst place to be, if you feel like that. <laughs> Excellent. How about you do you Um, I did when I was a child. I got really bad, um, badly car sick. Um, I had to buy some like wristbands, some bracelets oh, where they yeah. they press into your um, veins to to help. Um, so, but now I'm an adult, I don't really get car sick unless the the road is very bendy. Yes, definitely. Um, but in general. Yeah, but um, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have some good answers. Let's have a look. Cinzia, when I was young, um, any problems? Currently, if I'm a passenger, I can't read because I feel bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, reading makes you feel um, sick usually. And um, Tonya says, yes, I do. So it's a spelling mistake there. Uh, okay. Um, Opal Crossland X. Mm. Mm. Very specific. I don't know that car. Neither do I. I. <laughs> Maybe, Antonio, can you let us know, is it a good car? Are you happy with this car? Oh, it looks very nice. I had a quick Google. <laughs> so did I. Yes, you have a nice <laughs> car, Antonio. Very nice. What color is it? Mm. Filippo, I think electrics are the solution for the city's mobility. Maybe, as Antonio says, the only problem is the possibility to recharge cars. If you don't have a garage and there aren't rechargeable stations, mm. yeah, good point. Yeah, um, that is definitely a problem with it. Um, but I think that the world is changing. A lot of countries are, are really pushing for electric cars. So I've seen a lot more rechargeable stations here in, mm. in Italy than I have in, in South Africa. Yes, guys, yeah. I come from South Africa, in case you didn't hear my introduction before. <laughs> I don't even think we have any rechargeable stations in South Africa. Mm. What about the UK? In the UK, I think it's the same as Italy. It's becoming more popular. Um, maybe mm. in a big city like London. Um, 
there is more possibility. But in like a village, um, definitely, I think still we still don't really have many mm, many rechargeable mm. points. Um, yeah, I can imagine. Felipe, just be careful. The negative of have you have two options: don't have or haven't got. Um, mm. For the negative. Okay, we have Leonardo. Leonardo says, sorry for being late <laughs> um, or for the delay. Mm. I have a Ford Fiesta 2005. Uh, fortunately, I never get car sick. Excellent. Mm. That's awesome. I'm happy for you. Yeah, very lucky. <laughs> um, yeah, so sorry for being late or sorry I'm late or sorry for the delay. Mm -hmm. um, just be careful because late is a verb, uh, is an adjective. So, sorry, I'm late. We also have Anna. She says, hi, guys. Hi, Anna. <laughs> Hello from Palermo. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Anna, please feel, uh, feel free to answer the questions with us. Do mm -hmm. you have a car? What kind of car do you have? Mm -hmm. And do you ever get car sick? Yeah, very important to know. Um, Antonio, I used to get car sick when I was a child. Very good sentence. Used to. Nice. Filippo says, me too. When I was young, I got stomach ache during cars travel. While mm. driving. While driving, yeah. Mm. Oh, no. Not nice. Stomach ache. Yeah. I think we would maybe say car journey rather than car travel. Mm. Um, or when traveling by car. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, when we're children, maybe we're more um, easily classic. Okay. Antonio, I would like Antonio. to do... Uh, do you want to go? No, 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 let's go. I know it's difficult to, to organize um, the time. Okay, um, I would like to do it by myself, but nowadays cars have become difficult to fix up. I only do ordinary maintenance for the other things. I bring my car to the Opal service. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's the nice thing with a lot of um, branches when it comes to, to car or uh, what's the word called? Dealerships. They usually offer you like a service for a couple of years, free service. Um, mm. Afterwards, of course, uh, also to take it to the maintenance or to the mechanic for maintenance really has become a lot more expensive. So a lot of people mm. sort of up um, to trying to fix it themselves. Yeah, it could, especially if they, if they like cars. Mm, it could be a hobby too. Yeah. <laughs> um, just remember the it, um, Antonio. Do it by myself. <laughs> okay, Filippo understood. Okay, your meaning. Good. Oh. Anna says, I have had a green car for three, for 10 years. Mm. Can you tell us what type of car? So is it the brand? Is it a Ford, Toyota? Um, and yeah. It's an eco car. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you mean green as the color? Or, or green as in eco, as in eco friendly? Yeah. So be careful in English. I think if we use green alone, it would sound like the color. That's what I was um, thinking. I was like, oh, okay. Just the green. Um, color. <laughs> so, what do you mean? Green the color or green mm -hmm. as in eco friendly? Uh, green is the color. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So she says, I definitely, Anna does say, I definitely take my car to the mechanic. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, which car do you have? So you have a green car, but what mm -hmm. is um, the brand of the car? Like <laughs> BMW, Opel, Toyota. <laughs> yes, excellent. Okay, Antonio, my Opel is grey and I love it, but it's hard to park in Rome. Mm. Yeah. It's hard to park. Or parking is hard. In Rome, yeah, definitely. Uh, Leonardo says, sometimes I do it, because you're referring to the subject, do it by myself with my father, but when it it is too difficult to repair, we go to the mechanic. Yes, I understand. Yeah. So maybe you try. Okay, it's a, it's a Toyota. Toyota. It's a new 
Terry's. Maybe she's also referring to a SUV, a sports utility uh, utility vehicle. Yeah, is it a SUV? Um, Anna, utility vehicle. Um, notice in English we say SUV. We don't really say SUV. Mm. I don't know. No, not in a... South Africa. Is it the same? Because it's an acronym. Yeah. So um, I think very rarely they would say something like that. Mm. Um, Antonio, like Antonio, don't worry about the mistakes. We're here to help you. <laughs> you don't need exactly. to apologize. <laughs> this is the place where you can make mistakes and we're going to help. Mm. And we love helping, so. Yes, so we're, here. we're here for that. <laughs> um, if I did the maintenance for my car, it would probably <laughs> catch fire. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, in English, we say to catch fire. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I'm terrible with um, engineering, with mechanics. Um, what about you, Joanna? Do you think you could maintain your car? If I had a car, I'd definitely try yeah. um, before I go to the mechanic. But if yeah. it just becomes too difficult, like most of them have said, um, mm. I would go to the mechanic. Yeah, I think it depends on how serious the problem is, but yeah. Mm. If it's maybe changing a light bulb or something, I'm sure I could do that. Yeah, I'd probably ask my dad first for advice. I'd do that too. Yeah. How would dad you do this? Um, he was an electrician, so he, um, he knows quite a lot about kind of DIY and fixing things. Awesome. My dad was a mechanic, so that's why I called ah. him up as well. How do I do this? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. So my dad wasn't a mechanic, but he was involved in kind of building and fixing. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. Turn to dad <laughs> when we need help. Antonio has a question. Do you like to drive teachers? Hmm. Interesting question. Um, I don't like to drive, really. Um, I drive for necessity rather than for pleasure. Um, That's a good explanation. And you, Joanna? <laughs> um, I don't drive here in Italy because I don't have an Italian driver's license. Mm. Um, so I'm very scared because in South Africa, we drive on the opposite side of the road. The same, yeah, same in the UK. You do? Mm-hmm, yeah, the opposite oh. to Italy. The opposite, yeah. so you guys drive on the left-hand side as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Perfect. I didn't yeah. know that in South Africa it was the same. I know there are a few countries in the world. <laughs> on the left-hand um, side. So my mm -hmm. mind is still sort of on like driving on the left. Every now and then I get confused here. Mm. Yeah, me too. I get confused with the gears because in the UK I would use a different hand. Exactly. <laughs> so, so I move my hand. Exactly. You're used to using your right hand normally and now all of a sudden you need to use your left hand. Yeah, it yeah. feels unnatural. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Anna says... <laughs> it isn't a sub it's a small toyota but i don't use it very often i love riding my bike this is not your topic okay that's it's okay, okay. It's not your topic it's a lot of new vocabulary too mm. if you um, rent a car um okay Ready for? i take my car to regular maintenance at the official services okay maybe at the dealership yeah Antonio asked us a question. Hmm. Do you know what Route 66 is? Yes, we do. Do you guys know? Can you tell us? What is Route 66? Yeah, so if you know what Route 66 is, please comment it in the comment section. Yeah, it's really famous. <laughs> Hello, we have Jordi. Good morning. Hi. Uh, Jordi says, I like to mix it up a bit and drive on the left in Italy, just for giggles. I feel like, I feel like that's what I'd do too. Um, mm. But maybe not just to mix it up. Maybe I'd really get confused. Yeah. <laughs> so giggles is like laughs, little laughs. Um, where are we? Antonio says, would you mind explaining to us mm. what Route 66 is? Let's see, maybe one minute if anyone else can explain. Any of the other students know? Um, yeah, so if no, none of the students know what Route 66 mm. is, we'll give you an answer. Yes, it's very famous. I think it's also in a song. When I think of Route 66, I think of a song. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, in America. <laughs> but can anyone tell us what is Route 66? And if you don't know, but in America they have a couple of, yes, good job, Cynthia. It's a highway in the USA. Mm. Fun fact, it's actually called like the Mother Road. Mm. Uh, I think it's one of the road. I'm not sure. I'm not certain on the geography of, of or anything really of America. Mm. But I think it's it's a route that starts at one point of America and goes directly through, like right through the entire country. Yeah. Also, Leonardo, it's the most important road in America. Um, yeah. People, I often think, take road trips along Route 66 if they want to travel mm -hmm. through America. Um, they take a road trip. <laughs> Perfect, I was correct. From the east to the west, yeah. Well done, very good, impressive. Yeah, road with an A, good. Um, one thing I noticed a lot of you are doing in different comments is missing the it. Um, so in Italian, you can miss the it. Um, I can just use the verb to be. Um, for example, um, è tardi, okay. <laughs> In English, we cannot miss the it. We always need the it. Yeah. Yeah. So with the verb to be and then the mm -hmm. adjective. Yeah. Um, so in, in Italian, it's possible, but in English, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. um, so just remember, be careful. Notice if you have the it. I've seen cars a hundred times with my children. You're so cute. It's a cute film. <laughs> And Tonya says, I have mm, I have been addicted to my car since I got my first car. Mm. Uh, I only use my car for moving around the city. I can't imagine life or my life without my car. Mm. I think it's pretty normal for people who have a car. Yeah, it becomes a way of life. Mm. Um, yeah, perfect. You're dependent on it. Mm. Then again, a car makes life a lot easier. Like when you go to the grocery store or yeah. the supermarket to buy, to buy food. You have all these bags. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, let's move on to some vocabulary, um, which is maybe helpful. Okay. So can you guys see the arrow? Can you see my arrow on the screen? Let me know. Can you see my arrow? Um, Joanna, do you want to read the words for us? Perfect. So engine, windshield, windscreen, headlight, tire, uh, hood or bonnet, brake, blinker or indicator, trunk or boot. Okay, so here are some important words connected to cars. Can you tell us what is this part of the car? If you can see my arrow, this first arrow at the front of the car, what is this? Inside. Hmm. Inside the car. So when you open mm. it up, what is the big thing there? Mm. Yeah, there's lots of vocabulary really connected to cars. This is just a selection. <laughs> but... Good job, Antonio. Antonio says engine. Perfect. Um, be careful with pronunciation. Engine. Yes. So no engine, engine but engine. Yeah, we miss it's the tough. E. Yeah, it's tough. There. What about this one here, the next one? <laughs> I'm trying to do hand signal. <laughs> yes, it does this. <laughs> what is With this? Dark. Mm. It's really important for safety. Keep you safe. I don't know what the rules are in the UK or in Italy because I'm I have like the book to help me get my license. In mm. South Africa, we're supposed to use our headlight during the day as well. Yeah, I think it's the same, but I think we have to, it's not the full. It's like the half. Oh, probably. But because theme. maybe during the day there could be fog or. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Um, there could be different problems. Mm. Anyone know the name? All of them said headlight. Antonio, Anna, Leonardo, Don Filippo. Good job. Perfect. It's the headlight because it's at the front. Head is like at the front, the front of the car. Um, what about this? So here we're looking at the outside of the car. Mm -hmm. The thing that you need to open up. It's like a 
a cover. I'm trying to make it with my hand. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a problem with the engine, you need to open the... It's very nice to see the difference between um, uh, American English and British English. Mm. In general, is South African English similar to the American here or is it similar to the British? Uh, it's very similar to the British. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it depends on the country. But yes, yeah, some of them are more similar to America, some to, to Britain. Anyone know what's the name of the cover you open? So yeah. I'm the hood mm -hmm. or the bonnet. Yeah, in South Africa we'd say bonnet as well. Yeah, in the UK too. Um, hood is more American, um, but I think we can understand in the context. <laughs> I think um, so too. We could understand. Okay. Sometimes in South Africa, people will say, hey, pop open the hood. But we mm. understand it's the bonnet. Yeah, it's like a phrase. <laughs> um, okay, what about this one, the next one? So the glass at the front of the car is... Again, two words for this one. Mm. Awesome, Filippo, Cinzia, Anna, they all got it. Mm. Excellent, guys. Yeah, so this is the windshield or the windscreen. Again, in the UK, we say yeah. windscreen. Um, and you guys? <laughs> I feel like it's a mixture of both. Like, I'm very confused about this one. This one, I feel like I've said windshield a lot. Mm. Windshield. Because it's shielded yeah. from the wind. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah um yeah definitely in the uk we would say windscreen but again we can understand windshields um i think it makes sense okay what about the next one at the back of the car that you open to put your shopping in yeah or if you travel <laughs> a lot you put your your luggage or your suitcase inside of it mm. can you ask me what i'm drinking <laughs> what I'm drinking barley coffee <laughs> it's fake coffee? um in Italian they say orzo so it's like um it's tastes similar to coffee but um it's there's no caffeine it's just oh, awesome. um I can't find it in the UK <laughs> thank no, you I, Antonio we have that in the in South Africa maybe we'd have like decaffeinated coffee yeah, in England, it's the same. I discovered it when I came to Italy. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I think, yeah, you guys have the right thing. Trunk or boot? Um, again, in South Africa, what do you say usually? Open the boot. <laughs> the boot. Yeah, the same in the UK. The boot. <laughs> I got stuck in the boot when I was a kid with my sister and my cousin. Wow. Because we were waiting for my father. And I was like, hey, guys, why don't we wait in the boot? Only problem mm -hmm. is that I had the car keys with me in the booth. Oh no. So it was, yeah. I don't it, know what I would have done if my dad didn't come there. Luckily it opened. I got wow. the biggest hiding from my dad. Yeah, I can imagine. He was very angry, very yes. scared. <laughs> okay guys, what about the next one? So the next arrow here, what's this? So Leonardo, I think he says, before we continue, he asks, I don't know if he's asking what the trunk is or if he's asking if it is the trunk. So the trunk is synonymous with the boot. It's the back of the car. Yeah, perfect. The bonnet is the front and under the bonnet is the, the engine. The boot mm. or the trunk is the back, where usually inside is a spare wheel. Yeah, you can have a spare wheel. Um, also your luggage you can put mm -hmm. in the trunk. Um, Chins, yeah, I love barley coffee. <laughs> nice, it's good. <laughs> um, yeah, spare tire. Yeah, also. Yes. Good. Yeah, so it's a little bit confusing, but yeah, this is the tire. Um, notice that in America, they spell it with an I and in England with a Y. 
Um, but the pronunciation is the same for both. Huh? Yeah, um, no difference in pronunciation. Um, this one, can anyone tell us what is this one? It's a difficult I'm, picture. Antonio got it. Hmm. He says, uh, sorry, I meant to say break and not tire. Yeah, so it's a bit tricky. The tire is the, the wheel, is the rubber mm. um, around. The break is this object that stops the wheel, but it's not very clear, I think, in the picture. Um, yeah, I think it's referring to the blue picture. Um, which is the brake pad, which is a thing mm. of giving friction to stop the wheel. I yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> and last yeah. but not least, we have... Mm. Very difficult. <laughs> this is something, and I don't mean it in a bad way. This is something that Italians and South Africans have in common. They mm. do not use it. They don't use the indicator. <laughs> No, they will no. turn into the street and there is no indicator. Hmm. Um, in the UK, I think people are quite good with the indicator. Maybe the older generation often They forget. use it more? Oh, they, they often forget. Yeah. Um, yeah. In South they Africa, notice. it's not a necessity. For us, it's just like maybe if you want to put the cherry on the top of the It's a cake. decoration. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay, Antonio agrees. <laughs> Thank you. I can imagine in Rome it's even worse. Mm. I mean, in Bologna, I get a little bit of anxiety when that happens. But mm. Rome, is even, yeah, yeah, it's more difficult. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. It's really nice. Um, you know, the blinker is when it blinks the eye. So it yeah. blinks. Yeah. It comes on and off. That's so cute. I like that explanation. It blinks the eye. Uh, it's nice. <laughs> Um, again, blink is more American and indicator is more British. Yes. Um, but we can understand both. I wow. It's awesome curve. Also, in, when she goes round a curve. Wow. Yeah. I think you're supposed yeah. to. Yeah, I think, especially when it's a big curve. Mm. Um, yeah, good. Excellent. Shall we move on to some problems? Yes. Them. potential problems okay guys can you match each part to its common problem so we have the parts here and we have breakdown crack or break a flat tire blowout burnout dent or overheat so can you tell us what is the problem or a common problem with a windshield it's a common problem in the meantime, we have Leonardo, he says, in the roundabout too. Uh, mm. And we have our boss, Lisa, good morning. She Hi. Said, turning, they say turning signal in Canada. Wow. So what you have different? the blinker indicator and the turning signal. Mm. <laughs> good. So Leonardo says windshield would be crack or break mm. what's the difference between crack and break does anyone know hi tomaso <laughs> welcome does anyone know what's the difference between crack or break mm. they're similar but they're not the same how should we give them the answer with that yeah, we could do. Let's see if anyone. Ten seconds. Yeah, ten seconds for the question. What is the difference between to crack or to break? Hmm. So one is more serious. <laughs> crack is like a sign on the glass. Yeah, when you have like something like this, yeah. a mark. Yeah. A mark um, glass. Which can get bigger in time oh, but definitely if you don't fix it hmm. <laughs> hi mama hi <laughs> thank That's you for joining Maria. us and valeria oh, wow good morning hi valeria we have lots of people <laughs> um break yeah, so is something break oh, she says break is something total she also says break is more serious yeah mm -hmm. definitely 
break is completely like broken. Okay. What about the headlight? What is the problem we could have with the headlight? Can anyone tell us? Yes, think about when you're at home as well. I'm, I'm helping them with this. Mm. Uh, when you're at home and the light inside your kitchen goes and then switches off mm. completely. I hate That's changing happened. the lights. <laughs> I hate changing the light bulb. <laughs> I can't reach, even if I use the ladder. <laughs> it's more and it's I'm it's dangerous. <laughs> mm. It's my husband's job. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Yeah, Valeria, good. Burn out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the yeah. light burns out. It stops. It stops working. Awesome. Good job, Anna. Good job, Tomaso. Mm. Excellent. What about the engine? What problem could we have with the engine? I had a colleague with this. He had the this problem for the entire time that I worked with him every morning, <laughs> just gave his car the same problem, but always on the, the highway. Mm. Yeah, perfect, Antonio. It can overheat. Mm -hmm. And then the steam comes out shh, out of the top of yeah, the it's, it's quite scary. <laughs> um, what about tire? What happens to the tire? Yeah, the engine breaks down. Yeah, it's possible the engine could break down. Yeah, overheat when it's too hot. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Excellent. So what about the tire? If I drive on the road, maybe there is an object. Blowout. Yeah, perfect. Antonio got it. Yeah, flat tire or blowout. Um, in South Africa, what do you usually say? A flat tire. Yeah, it's the same for me. Um, blowout sounds very American. <laughs> yeah, I don't um, think of that as the tire. I think of when you blow out something, you blow out the candle. Yeah, or even like a blowout of your hair. Like yeah. When you go to the hairdressers, they give you a blowout. Exactly. Um, <laughs> a blowout? We call it a blow dry. Also blow dry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this makes me think of my hair. <laughs> yes, no, it doesn't think of it. Make me think of a tire. Uh, mm. I agree with you, Em. Um, <laughs> what about a car? What happens to a car? Hmm. So it's very generic. When your car is old, um, or there maybe are some problems, and usually mm -hmm. this happens on the side of the road where you do not want to be. Mm. Okay, maybe Thomas, who was it? Uh, Leonardo didn't understand. Um, maybe the flat tire. The flat tire is when the tire, the air in the tire goes out. So usually the tire is round, but it becomes deflated. Deflated, yeah, or flat. Yeah, good. Yeah, the car will break down. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Um, be careful with break and breakdown. Breakdown is when we have something which is mechanical. Um, so, for example, the car breaks down, the washing, washing machine breaks down. Um, break when you just have an object. So, for example, the cup breaks. Um, so, yeah, just be careful. When we talk about something moving or something mechanical, breakdown. <laughs> okay <laughs> Antonio people say I seem like a Native American <laughs> interesting <laughs> perfect okay so we have one minute guys um, tell us what is the problem with the hood <laughs> remember the hood we'd call the bonnet in uh, in, Ameri in, in, in England sorry I was reading Antonio's comment Antonio if you wait another 10 minutes um, there will be another focus activity mm. uh, for your level. <laughs> Filippo, yes, communication breaks down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, metaphorically, it can break down. Uh, yes, the last one is a dent. Good job. 
Yeah. Antonio, we won't forget you. Thank you for your interaction. Thank you to everyone this morning for your interaction. Um, okay, I think we're going to have to finish there. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for joining us at nine o'clock on a Tuesday. Excellent. You guys were a really, really great, great group. Thank you for keeping us company. Um, remember that if you have any problems with grammar or you'd like to practice a little bit more, you can go onto our Facebook page, which is my S S O S. Um, <laughs> yeah, wait another 10 minutes. You will have another focus activity. Perfect. Bye, Bye guys. Have a good day. Bye.